Hello guys, this is Kamaker. After getting the laser engravers, I guess some of our friends would like to try to engrave the tumblers, bottles, or flasks to make some unique words. But not all of our friends will spend extra pennies to buy a rotary for cylinder engraving. So we came up with a trick to help you to do the cylinder engraving without a rotary. If you are doing the cylinder engraving without using a rotary without the extra settings, the size of the engraving will hit the cylinder at a lower point than the middle. Since the laser is projected from the single point above your object, the extra distance means the size of the rectangle will widen and curve. But with the help of the cylinder correction function, you may get more accurate engraving on curved surfaces. This tool will wrap the output of your design to correct for the expansion that happens when you make a cylindrical object without a rotary. To use this cylinder correction, you need to be on line from 1.2 or later. As far as lenses go, a lens with a smaller field size or work area will have a shallower depth of field. Due to this, you will also want to use a lens that has a larger working area and, in turn, a deeper depth of field. This will help to ensure you get the best result possible when engraving with the cylinder correction tool. In this example, I'm using the 110 field lens. Instead of focusing the lens on the top surface of the object, you will want to focus your lens part on the surface of the cylinder that you are going to engrave. But as for my experience, you may adjust the focus by checking the engraving effect while it's engraving. Now we're ready to use the cylinder tool. Before we use the tool, we need to first input our pattern in our workspace. I'm using this pattern, but you may use whatever you need. You may even use the group with the pattern and test. Next, head up to the laser tool, drop down, and select the cylinder correction setup to open the dialog window. When the window first opens, everything will be grayed out. Click on the Enable Cylinder Correction toggle to enable it. Now we need to input some values. The first is mirror distance, which is the focus distance from the gallo mirror to your object. This is different than the distance from your laser head, which is mostly written on the yellow tag. This distance is quite easy to get. You may open your lens and check the distance by yourself. As for Comarker B420 Watt, the distance from the gavel to the edge of the laser head is around 30 mm. So I add both lengths together to get my mirror distance of 234 mm. Next, we will add the object diameter for the item we will be engraved. For my flask, this is 66.8 mm. Then choose which axis you will engrave the curve along. Lastly, select whether the curve that will be engraved is convex or concave. Once you finish the parameter input, click the Show Value Boundary button to generate a two-layer rectangle in your workspace. This rectangle represents the bounds of the work area that you will be able to engrave. Anything placed outside the boundary will not be able to correct or engrave. For the best design, you need to center the design that you are going to engrave. If you are designed on the top or the bottom of the workspace, the shape will be curved. And you are able to uncheck the framing option in the cuts and layer window to prevent it from being included by framing. Once you are happy with the work, frame it on the object you want to engrave. After adjusting the design, hit the Start button to engrave it. I also run a few rectangle engravings to show what it looks like with and without the cylinder correction. When you are done using this tool, make sure to uncheck this button in the Cylinder Correction Setup window. That's all for the Cylinder Correction Tools use. I think after watching this video, you must have a better understanding of engraving on the curved surfaces. 
Now it's time to hit your own mark after learning this new tool. Acknowledgement. Thanks to Lightburn Software on YouTube for contributing the idea for making this video.